Now for part C, we've got to use our regression line to estimate the time interval between mating calls when the surrounding temperature is 10 degrees C. And what I've done here is I've just sketched out the line of regression that we calculated in part B and its equation here. And so all we've got to do is substitute when t equals 10 into here to get the value of m. So this is a nice simple one. So if we just put this in, let's just say when t equals 10, we've got that m equals 8.4738 and so on, okay, minus 0.2556 and so on multiplied by 10 and you'll notice I've used the unrounded versions here from the previous part if we work this out what you should find you get is 5.9178 and so on and if we round this to say two significant figures it's going to be equal to 5.9 to 2SF Okay, two significant figures. And we're asked to comment on the reliability of this estimate, giving a reason for your answer. Well, the point is that our data here goes from the lowest value, 8. So on the axis T here, this is going to go from 8 all the way up to the highest value of 30. And we're looking at t equals 10 and that's within this range of values here so you know if you've got 10 there it's going to be pretty reliable we would hope okay so comment on the reliability I'm going to say that it is reliable and the reason is okay that um, since 10 is within the range okay 8 to 30 